the need for protein following bariatric surgery. If you have been fighting the battle with weight loss and not winning, you may want to consider having a discussion with your physician about undergoing bariatric surgery. This is a drastic step and should not be taken without a considerable amount of thought. There are many things that you will need to know in order for you to decide if bariatric surgery is the right choice for you, but with your physician's help, you are sure to make the right decision. If you decide to undergo bariatric surgery, there are many lifestyle changes that you are going to have to make. For one thing, you will be on an extremely restricted diet, which will be low in fat and carbohydrates. But your diet will also need to be very high in protein. Protein is a natural source of energy, which you will need post-surgery. Also, protein is necessary for the growth and recovery of muscles and tissues, and if you are getting the right amount of protein in your diet, you will find that your recovery from surgery will be easier and quicker. Excellent sources of protein for post-surgery health. Following surgery, you will need to be on a special diet. Of course, you will want to consult with your physician to ensure that the diet you are on is the most beneficial for weight loss following your surgery and to make sure that you are getting the nutrients and vitamins that your body needs. Protein is essential for survival, and a diet that is high in protein is essential for bariatric surgery patients. There are many different dietary sources of protein, and one of the best sources is just about any type of beans. Just a quarter cup serving of baked beans will provide as much protein as a serving of red meat, with fewer calories and some added fiber as well. Another wonderful dietary source of protein is poultry. Just remember, because you are in a low-fat, low-carb diet, you should only eat the white meat and not the dark, no matter how much better you may think it tastes. A 3-ounce portion of white breast meat will provide you with over 25 grams of protein, almost half of the recommended daily amount. And while we're on the subject of poultry, eggs are another excellent dietary source of protein. Fish is another good source of protein, especially fatty fish such as salmon. Everyone knows how beneficial milk is for building bones, but they may not realize that it's also high in protein, as are most other milk products, including cheese and yogurt. Using protein supplements, another great way to get the protein that you need is to use protein supplements. These make delicious, low-calorie meal replacements and are made from many different sources of protein, including whey, casein, soy and rice. Whey, whey is an extremely popular protein that is used in protein supplements. It is a complete protein, meaning that it contains all 22 of the essential and non-essential amino acids. Whey is a milk derivative, a byproduct of the cheese making process. So if you are allergic to milk and milk products or are lactose intolerant, you should try a different type of protein, such as soy or rice. Casein, casein is another milk derivative. In fact, casein is where whey comes from in the first place. Casein is slower to digest than whey, but its effects last longer. It is often recommended that whey and casein be used in combination to get the benefits of the fast-acting whey and the long-term effects of the casein. Like whey, casein is a complete protein, but it can even be enjoyed by some lactose intolerant people. Soy, soy is another complete protein and one that is great for vegetarians or those who can't have the proteins made from milk. Because soy is a vegetable, it is the ideal source of protein for vegetarians. There are no saturated fats in soy as well as no cholesterol, and it is considered to safe for everyone, although some people who use it report digestive troubles. If you use soy protein and find that you are having digestive problems, you should switch to a different source of protein. Rice, rice protein is the one that is ideal for just about everyone. It is hypoallergenic and because it is plant-based, it is ideal for vegetarians. Soy protein is gluten-free and low in carbohydrates, sugars and fats. This type of protein comes from brown rice, and supplements made from it can be flavorless, making them ideal for adding to almost any recipe. Types of protein supplements available. There are many different types of protein supplements available, and often the ones that you use will depend on your diet and lifestyle. Because bariatric surgery patients need at least 60 grams of protein each day but must maintain low-calorie, low-fat and low-carb diets, protein supplements are an excellent way to get the protein that they need following surgery. Many supplements can be used as low-calorie meal replacements and taste great. Some of the more popular forms of protein supplements include protein powders, liquid proteins and protein bars or snacks. Protein powder, this is one of the most versatile types of protein supplements. It can be used to make delicious meal replacement shakes and smoothies, and the flavorless kind can be added to recipes. Liquid protein, this is a convenient form of protein supplement. You can purchase pre-mixed liquid protein supplements that are great meal replacements and are convenient for those who are on the go. One of the newer and more popular liquid protein supplements is Profect, by Prodica. This supplement provides 25 grams of protein per 3 ounce serving, with only 100 calories. Profect comes in a number of delicious flavors too. Protein bars snacks, this is a great way to get your protein, and they are convenient and easy to take along anywhere. These snacks are really delicious, and many of them taste just like you are eating one of your favorite chocolate bars. There are other great snacks available, including delicious jerky. 